Oh, jeez, look who it is. It's the old skin. <laughs> I dug this baby out of the archives. I've got the witch skin rolling. Guys, today we are gonna be doing some blood magic. It's awesome, but before we do that, let me put my helmet back on for maximum protections. Uh, before we do, hold on. Have you guys ever seen a witch in like a, uh, what hat is this? This is the, uh, oh my goodness. What, oh, the pool toy hat. Oh no, don't remove it. Keep it on there. This hat is amazing. I love this hat. It just looks so stupid. But um, yeah guys. Oh, I right click. Uh, whoop, there we go. Put that on. So guys, welcome back to Revenge of the Sea Team. This is episode four and today we are going to be doing Blood Magic. Now you probably hear the intro song right now. It's like the old intro song. A bunch of you guys had some really cool ideas. Um, I haven't decided yet whether or not I want to change up the intro specifically. Uh, but some people were saying for like evil episodes, do the old one and for like fun ones, do the new one. And I haven't decided what I'm going to do yet, but I just thought that today, since we were doing an evil one, I would just at least put the old one back just for this episode. But anyways, I do love the Revenge of the Sea Team song. It is amazing. And guys, also you probably noticed I am rocking the Sfax texture pack. Um, this is the old Attack of the B Team texture pack. So like some of the textures haven't updated, obviously like these pine wood planks from Biomes of Plenty. If you're somebody that helped make that texture pack and you would like to continue updating it for Revenge of the Sea Team and all the textures, the new textures and stuff that we have, that would be amazing. That would seriously be super cool. I know that there's a sword text version that has, it's for Revenge of the Sea Team and I tried it out, but it was like too HD for me and like certain textures just didn't look the, the way that I wanted them to. Um, so I'm used to Sfax, and I think I'm going to use this one for a little while. Let me know what you guys think. Obviously, I use this my entire series in Attack of the B Team, but uh, let me know what you guys think. So I've also expanded the house. Um, yeah, I've expanded the house. So I'm going to show you guys uh, that real quick. Also, I launched a new series yesterday called Slime Rancher Road to Golden Honey. It's on a game called Slime Rancher. It's so fun. So I definitely encourage you guys to check that out. Episode one is up on my channel right now. So when you guys are done with this video, go watch that video. And I'm going to be posting those probably every other day until I reach my goal of either getting honey slimes or golden slimes. That's kind of why the series is called that. So I'm very excited about that game. It's a lot of fun. Um, it's a really cool uh, just experience. I think you guys are going to love that series. So make sure you check it out. So I'm going to show off some house upgrades today. I'm going to craft some zoom goggles and then we are going to do a large chunk the beginning chunk of blood magic. So I went ahead and I expanded the house. Um, I brought the whole roof back and started a kitchen. We'll finish this kitchen uh, upcoming here because next episode, I think I think I have a plan next episode to, to set up my trade booth in town for some food so I can start making some money from when people jump on and they need some food. I've been farming like mad. That's mostly what I've been doing in my off time. But I made an upstairs room. I should probably move my bed up here or whatever. A little loft. That's kind of cool. Out here, guys, we've got farms going crazy. Going crazy. We've got avocados growing. We've got figs growing. We've got cashews. We've even got chestnuts and a pig. And we've got apples. All oh, the apple trees aren't all that exciting. But we've got apples growing. Uh, over here, I'm rocking some soybeans because I want to make some tofu stuff. We've got strawberries, mustard seeds, barley, oats, normal wheat. We got parsnips, peanuts, garlic, spice leaves, potatoes, or spice leaves and potatoes. Over here, we've got candle berries, raspberries, cabbage, tomatoes, leeks, blueberries, ginger, and broccoli. And then our peppercorn, which I need to collect that. Then we've got the mallow berries over here. We've got some more plots here. Oh, actually. Onion is one of the things that I need. I was flying around the other day. I have done a lot of exploring, <laughs> a lot of exploring. And I found some crazy stuff. Like I went out here and found like some mangoes and vanilla beans and dragon fruits, pistachios, apricots, fig trees. Like the fig, I haven't uh, crafted those into saplings yet and planted them or anything, but I will at some point. Um, but I did find a battle tower somewhere. We custom coded. The Battle Tower, or Dark Osto custom coded the Battle Tower loot to include Pam's Harvest Craft seeds and saplings so that you can get different sorts of farming materials from actually going into Battle Towers. Now, Battle Towers are pretty rare. We're going to assault one at some point. I just did one in my last episode of the Minecraft Files. Um, they're very difficult, but like there's one out here and they're just towers that spawn randomly. We turned the spawn rates way down though, so they are pretty rare, but they're very rewarding. There's a small chance in them that you can get an inventory pet in the bottom chest. So like they're really, when you find one, it's it's a good 
it's a good deal. What I did though is in bat form, I went and flew through like the first three levels hoping to try and find a cinnamon sap because I don't have any cinnamon and I want some cinnamon. And I ended up finding an onion seed, which is great because I don't have onions yet. Um, so I'm gonna just hit this with some bone meal super quick and then we'll get we'll moving on to the next thing. But basically, uh, the reason that uh, I was excited about the onions is because I haven't found them yet in any of like the, the little gardens and stuff and I need them for um, so, uh, certain recipes that I want to make and sell in town to people. So that's why I got excited about that. One of the things like I wanted to start making was uh, this here, which is uh, potato and leek soup. So I've got that hanging up on a tinker's drying rack. But um, yeah, we'll get into that a little bit more next episode. Today's episode, I want to craft these zoom goggles because I want to wear some zooming goggles. And so these are created with leather, glass, and gold. Um, do I have any glass? I do. We got some leather, I think it was three. And I've got gold right here. I went farming, or sorry, not farming, I went mining a ton. I'll show you guys downstairs in just a sec. But uh, let's craft ourselves a pair of these goggles. Boom, wow, I could already make a bunch of them. And check this out, put these on. Oh, they actually, wait, what's the, oh, they have better armor protection 4%. They look like they have better armor than iron. Look, look at, you can barely see, uh, like right here. Watch the armor, the armor category, ready? Put the iron helmet on, it goes to there. This one goes way up. That is awesome. That is super, super, super cool. And then pressing Z allows me to, to zoom in. That is fantastic. I'm so glad I have these. And if I took my hat off, you would see, oh, hold on. There we go. You'd see I've got the little goggles on top of my head. See, boop, boop. So that's kind of sweet. Uh, I'm very, very happy about this. Let's put our pool toy hat back on. Where is it? I've got a lot of hats now, which is great. I want to do a, a collab soon with Pungents. I want to trade him some hats and see if he's got any cool stuff. So guys, today we are going to be getting into blood magic. I'm very, very excited. So to start, we need to make ourselves a blood altar. So, uh, this is gonna be a magic mod we're gonna, we're gonna do uh, quite a bit of. Um, in terms of the, the frequency of how many episodes and how many episodes in a row of blood magic I'm going to get into, that's sort of all dependent on um, if I really like the mod or not. I tested it out a little bit last night on a single player world. It's really cool, it's really cool. But I've already got some ideas coming up over the next like two or three episodes for stuff that I wanna do. So this will be the only blood magic episode for like this week, but then next week we'll probably be doing more. If more people on the series and the servers start posting more, then I might move it up to doing daily uploads. So if you guys wanna see more up episodes, make sure you hit all those guys up on Twitter and let them know you wanna see them start posting more because uh, that would be awesome. And I would love to do daily episodes, but it's not about me, it's about the server too. We want everybody to have a good time and all that fun stuff too. So anyways, this is another room I expanded down here. I made a little hatch that goes down. I forgot to show you guys this. Uh, and then over here, we've got the house that overhangs over top of us, and I've got a cow. <laughs> so that's how I get my milk right now for my uh, for my my cooking and baking and all that stuff. Um, let's sleep really fast. The way I got the cow over here was I found a jailer's safari net in a chest somewhere. I actually meant to go out and look for more stuff um, for blood magic, but I forgot before I started recording. So let's put this here. The first thing we're gonna do is let's drop off this. I found a frozen meat thing, which actually has more or more attack damage than the iron sword. So we'll use that when this one breaks. But as you can see, guys, I got a I have a bunch of new materials. Uh, I found these Technicolor glasses. We'll put those on soon. In a chest recently, I got this Origins of Darkness from Evilcraft. We're gonna be exploring Evilcraft soon. Um, forestry bees, all that stuff. Important stuff, we got 10 diamonds, which is huge, because we actually need that for today. But for right now, let's focus on making ourselves the blood altar. So this is easy, but we definitely need a diamond for it. So we gotta get stone. So I cooked up a bunch of stone uh, right here. And then we need to make ourselves a... Uh, you know what, let me move this over so it's touching this chest. That would be helpful. Um, yes, all right, so let's go ahead and make ourselves a furnace. And we'll do this, and then I think it was this, this, and then stone, stone, 
and a diamond yes look blood altar all right so blood altar. this is the beginning this is the beginning so we're gonna put this right here this may or may not be a permanent location for this probably won't be considering this house is gonna be you know just it's sort of my starter house we will move into something and build something uh better in a little while but right now i'm just sort of getting set up exploring mods etc it's kind of like the same format i did with attack of the b team so the next thing I want to do is I need to make the sacrificial knife. And the sacrificial knife, let's see. The sacrificial knife is right here. Oh, that's creative mode. So this is iron, gold, and glass. So I'm going to need to grab some iron. Whoop. Let's go jump up here. Is there some in here? No, that's all. I got rid of all that. So let's grab one of these. And we're come. Oh, I need glass too. Shoot. Dang it. Uh, do I have enough? Oh, I'm holding it. Perfect. Actually, put that leather up there. I don't think I'm gonna need that. All right, so it's like this. It's like this and this, right? Yes. Sacrificial knife. So I just got the achievement, your first prick. <laughs> Such a weird achievement. Now, if I stand near this altar and I right click, hold on, I'll wait for that achievement to go away. You can see it hurts me and put some blood into the altar. Um, my health will regenerate. But each prick that you do of yourself gives you 200 uh, life points in the altar. Uh, it disappeared there, but it's actually in there. It stores in like a reservoir. So if I take my health all the way down, we got to be really careful. Obviously, you know, you don't want to do this stuff outside at night. I would not recommend it. We'll let ourselves regenerate, but this blood is going to go into the altar. So the first thing we need to make is a weak blood orb. So weak blood or all right. So this is the first item we need to make. And basically, this is a diamond into the uh, a tier one altar, which is what we have right now. And the life points is 2000. So what I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to edit this video. It's going to have a couple cuts to it and stuff. But what I need to do is I need to get basically 2000 life points into there. But as you can see, uh, I need to let my health regen. So this is going to be a lengthy process and I'm just going to make edits as we go. So uh, once we get to about 2000 or I feel like we've reached about 2000, uh, we will return. All right, I think we're pretty close, uh, but just to mix, uh, just to mix some mods together real quick, guys. I actually, uh, so as my health has been repairing itself, um, I've been getting really hungry, and um, I was actually thinking, uh, let's make some food, some fun food that could be a little bit different for this episode, rather than just eating like monster jerky. Because as you can see, I'm, I'm eating a lot here. So one of the things I actually was looking at was the peanut. And you can make a bunch of really cool stuff using the peanut, um, but you can also make peanut butter out of a juicer. I know a lot of you guys have been telling me for a while to make a juicer, and um, so I'd like to do that just like super quick, and then we'll head back down to blood magic. So this is, oh, it's stone and a pressure plate. Oh, okay, I thought it was iron. Um, all right, well, that's easy enough. I can do that super quick. But yeah, we'll make some peanut butter. We'll just eat some peanut butter during this episode, and uh, <laughs> and we'll enjoy that. So let's do that and this, and then we can have this juicer on hand as well for like juicing fruits and stuff like that. Um, so there we go. Let's make some peanut butter. Should be tasty. I think we can just, yeah, just eat this. There we go. Um, and then of course we could make like peanut butter cookies and PB and J. We're going to do all of this in an upcoming episode. I'm going to have multiple, there's so many things to make in Pam's Harvest Craft that I'm going to do, be doing multiple, multiple uh, cooking episodes uh, during this season. It's going to be really, really fun. Um, so I think you guys are gonna enjoy it. All right, so I think, let's do it one more time. I think we've got um, 2,000. We're not able to check yet. We're working towards making the divination, divination sigil so that we can actually check how many life points are in our altar. But what we should do next is actually grab a diamond and we're gonna be making the weak, uh, the weak blood orb. So let's put this in here and it's going to channel and use the blood that we've sacrificed into the blood altar and it's going to imbue this diamond with power now, as you can see the red sparklies that come off of here the red uh, swirlies means it's doing its job if it turns to gray that means that there wasn't enough life points inside so i'm really hoping that this works if it turns to gray it sort of slows the process and you kind of it sort of messes you up a little bit you got to put more life points in there again and um you just basically don't want it to have that to happen you want to make sure once we get the divination sigil we should be able to check but you definitely want to make sure that like you have enough life points in there overall so that it doesn't happen and I really hope it doesn't happen come on it should change any minute now it's working but it's working slow the beginning of this mod is a little bit a little bit slow there it is so there we go so now we've got our weak blood orb 
Uh, let's finish off this piece of monster jerky and then we will go ahead and swap that out for the peanut butter. So the peanuts can grow up there um, and everything. So now that we have our weak blood orb, we need to make a blank slate. And so the blank slate is going to allow us to craft um, some different things. Let's see here. Oh yes, the reinforced slate for tier two and stuff like that. But what we need right now is the divination sigil. So what we should do first is to make the blank slate, like I said, and that is just a piece of stone on there, but we need a thousand life points. So I'm gonna sacrifice some more life here. Um, and when when I feel like that's ready, we'll be right, we'll, I'll come back. <laughs> All right, so I think we should be good. Uh, let's go ahead and put this stone in there and that's going to do its thing. Come on, baby, you can do it. And that's gonna give us a blank slate. Now we definitely have to make a lot of these. To get to where I wanna get by the end of this episode, we're gonna have to make a lot of these. But uh, for right now, we're just gonna do this. Let's eat some more peanut butter. Mm -mm. I should make this into something else. Um, let's go ahead and knock our health down a little bit again. Just get that charged back up since we just used a thousand. So then we wanna make the divination sigil. And that's right here. And this is going to take our, um, let's see. Oh, you know what? Oh yeah, the weak blood orb right there. Glass and the blank slate. So do we have enough glass? I don't think that we do. So I gotta cook up more <laughs> sand. It's like all I have right now. I gotta make some more, I gotta get some more sand, baby. Definitely gotta get some more sand. So while, we're, while that's cooking up, I really wanted to make the cutting board. Is that what? Cutting board, yeah, right here. It's this, it's iron, a stick, and wood. Oh, that's so easy. Iron, uh, here. An iron, a stick, and a piece of wood. And that gives us the cutting board. And I think this just gets placed somewhere, but we'll, we're gonna put it right there, <laughs> just for right now. And we can actually do with this, well, that glass is cooking up, hold on. <gasps> wait for it, is make some apple jelly. Oh wait, no, we need to make a saucepan. The saucepan is like this and this? No, uh, how do you make a sauce? How does one make a saucepan? We're multitasking today. We are multitasking. Let's see here. Oh, it's just an ingot on top of the stick. That's right. Boom, saucepan. Grab ourselves a fresh apple off the tree. Why not? I know I've got some in the chest, but let's grab one off the tree. We'll come over here. Grab ourselves some sugar. Gonna make this, this, whoa, caramel. Oh, sweet. And that, we got some apple jelly. Perfect. Um, are these done? Okay, these are done. And then, what, is, what was it? Over here was, oh wait. Was it in the recipe? Oh, we need some bread. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I'm just testing this out super quick. Phew, there we go, okay. So let's see if we can do this. Let's see, uh, boom, and boom. There we go, apple jelly sandwich. Who's happy now? I am. <laughs> All right, so let's go down here. Um, I'm gonna pound some more peanut butter real quick. <clears throat> okay, so now that we have the enough glass, we can make the divination sigil, and this thing's super important. So let's just do this, there we go. And now what we can do is, if we hold, see, see the tooltip, it updated. So it says current LP is zero, but I think if we right click on it, uh, it says alters current life essence is 7,800. So maybe this, this tooltip is just incorrect right now. It was working for me in single player, but the divination sigil by right clicking on this will let you know how much life points are inside. So we've got 7,800 right now, that is amazing. So one thing we should do is upgrade our blood altar because as a tier one blood altar, you can't really do a whole lot with it. So to upgrade these, you need to do uh, rune blocks and these rune blocks are, they're called blood rune, um, blood rune blocks or whatever. And you need stone and blank slates. So we need a ton of blank slates. So I'm going to make a bunch of these. Uh, I will cut to when I'm ready. You guys will see. <laughs> ready, go. Well, apparently I died. <laughs> there was a server backup going on and I was clicking with my knife, uh, sacrificing my life points and I died. Um, so that was weird. I just, there was some lag and I didn't realize that my health was so low and then I thought I stopped and 
It was weird. I'll just show you what happened. But anyways, it appears as on death, it, it appears as if on death, my, I, I got two, I broke my little grave that was right here, and I got two sacrificial knives, so I don't know what that's all about. We only need one, I don't want to cheat. But when you die, you do get a effect called Soul Fray, and it makes it very hard to do your job in Blood Magic. Right now, we've got 2,600 life points in here. I think we're just about done. We need one more of these blank slates here. Typically, when you when you sacrifice some of your life, you get 200 points in there. When you're under Soul Fray after you've died, uh, and you do that, you crashed your game. Okay, so I actually crashed there. That was weird. But um, what I was saying was that when you're under Soul Fray uh, and you sacrifice some of your life points, it actually only gives 20. So it's like it's it's bad to die. Um, it's, it has a negative impact on your progress for a couple minutes. So I'm going to wait for this to go away and uh, maybe I'll cook up some more food in the meantime and continue to refill this once it, once I get back. By the way, these Natura berries are great to just pound while you're um, while you're doing uh, blood magic in this mod pack. But we'll be right back. All right, guys. So we've made it. Here's our last blood rune. We're going to upgrade this altar. So to upgrade this altar, you just kind of cut out um the uh, just just around the outside of the blood altar here and uh you don't have to worry about the one underneath right underneath the blood altar or anything it's not a big deal and then all you gotta do is just put these oh not cobblestone i'm an idiot <laughs> you gotta put the uh blood rune uh blocks around the outside like this and then uh it should say there you go altar's current tier is tier two so that's how you upgrade your altar to tier two. Uh, what I'm gonna do real quick is we're gonna, we only have 3,400 life points, so let's sacrifice a little bit more of ourself. And while we're doing that, uh, I am going to eat this apple jelly sandwich. Oh, so delicious. But I also wanted to make another quick recipe really fast because I was just looking at some craziness. And it looks like we can also make um, a recipe called uh wait for it it was under flour i made some flour while i was waiting and it's creamed broccoli soup so let's make this this looks pretty tasty so it's broccoli carrots flour black pepper stock and our pot and then there we go so we've got that so it's kind of sweet i don't know man i just love these food mods they're a lot of fun so uh the next thing we want to do in this mod in blood magic is uh oh the stock hold on i gotta drop this off the next thing we want to do is, uh, let's see. Oh, the Dagger of Sacrifice. We need to go make the Dagger of Sacrifice really fast. So that is actually, uh, I believe it's an iron sword that gets converted. So Dagger of Sacrifice right here. Yes, an iron sword tier two and it costs 3000 life points. I believe I have one in my backpack. There's a little bit of lag right now. So let's see how much we've got in here. 5,200, okay. Sweet, so let's go ahead and toss that in. I haven't tested it out yet to see if you need like a, um, a fully, you know, uh, built, durable, highly durable iron sword, or if it could be like one like this that has eight on it, eight hit points left or whatever. But I figured just for the sake of this video, I didn't want to mess things up, so <laughs> I'd put that in there uh, just out of precaution. So once we do this, the, the dagger of sacrifice, um, it's it, it works an interesting way i don't i didn't have um i didn't go get another mob or whatever to bring in here so that would be kind of difficult but if you kill something right next to the blood altar it adds their life points into the blood altar it's great by itself though it only does one attack damage so it's not good at all to use as a sword or a blade but uh so if you were to kill a non-hostile creature right next to the blood altar here it would give you 250 life points which is better than your own 200 if you sacrifice your own life points let's go ahead and eat our creamed broccoli soup tasty tasty uh and then if you kill a hostile creature it gives you 500 life points so that's super super nice um so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to make a reinforced slate so the reinforced slate is uh made on a tier 2 altar and for this, we need to put a blank slate in into the altar and it's going to convert into a reinforced slate. So if you guys remember, uh, let me make sure I've got enough here. 
the uh, blank slates were easy. You just put a piece of stone in there. And eventually we're going to make the sigil of the fast miner today. Of the fast miner. So this is a sigil. And it's created using one reinforced slate, some stone, and then a couple different iron tools. And I think that this is all we need. Let me see here. Let me sacrifice more of myself. You can see the blood is going up there. That was kind of cool. So this blank slate, uh, let's see here. Hold on. Right here it needs 2,000. So if we've got two, yeah, we do have 2,000 in there. So let's put that in there. We'll make a reinforced slate. And then I'm going to come up here and make some iron tools for us. So let's get started. So we needed a an iron pick, right? Um, we needed an iron shovel and an iron axe. That's easy. And boop, boop. We'll do this and this. All right, easy enough. So we've got those created. And then if we come down here and grab our reinforced slate, uh, and then this, we need the, I'm sorry, we need the, we need an apprentice blood orb is what we need to do. Totally forgot about that. Uh, we need to make one of those. So there are um, five different types of blood orbs, I believe. Um, if I type in blood orb, you'll see them. One of them's creative, which is only in creative mode. I think it's, where is it? Maybe not. I don't remember. But we start with the weak one. Then we move up to the apprentice, which we're going to do right now. Um, and they're all used different. They all use different things. So like the tier three one is a block of gold. Uh, the tier four is this weak blood shard. This one is demon blood shard. I don't know. But anyways, right now we need an emerald. And thank goodness your boy has a bunch of emeralds. I went mining and I found like a ton of them uh, in this biome area over here. I think it's like the Jade Hills or Jade Cliffs or something. Now, I want to be careful though and make sure that we have enough. So 5,000 life points we need for this one. So we are not anywhere close. So let's see how many that we're up to now. 37, 20. All right, so we'll be right back. I got to let this whole, whole thing recharge. All right, check it out, guys. I made a hot dog. Well, I made three of them. <laughs> They're awesome. I made some hot dogs. They're super easy to make. You do uh, a pot, bread, and you can either do to firm tofu, raw pork chop, uh, and you get a hot dog. Pretty cool. So, guys, I am ready to throw my emerald into here because we've got plenty of stuff, life points. we got uh, over 6,000. So that is going to do its thing. We are going to get the special orb for that. And then we're going to make, finally, the sigil of fast. Oh, what is it called? Of the fast. There we go. Of oh, the fast miner. So here it is. And it's easy to make. We just need to get this apprentice, apprentice blood orb. So we'll come over here. Uh, we'll get this prepared. Um, let's see here. It's going to go like this, like this, stone. And that, we got our reinforced slate. And wait for it. Oh, you know what? We need to eat. Eat a hot dog. Oh, that sounds so good right now. That sounds so good right now. This is taking a little while. Come on, you can do it. Little blood altar. You can do it. Yay, it did it. So there we go. And then put this right here. And we get the sigil of the fast miner. And guess what? You get to keep your blood orb too. Now, this is cool. So it says... Um, well, it says it doesn't have a current owner deactivated. What happens if I activate it? Oh, current owner chimney stuff. There we go. So now I've activated it. Keep going and going and going. Now, what this does, I believe it channels the life points from here and it gives you the ability to mine very quick. As you guys, guys can see, I've currently got haste. I've got haste two on right now. So I can attack really fast. I can mine really fast. And so this sigil is awesome because I can take it out with me in the world and go mining and turn it on and off. And it's just going to go freaking beast mode power when I mine. Now, there's a bunch of other sigils that you can make. But um, basically, these are all, I think, I think most of them are all self buffs, I believe. Um... But there's really cool ones like Air Sigil. It allows you to fly. So we need to like go to the nether and get a gas tier. But we could actually make that once we have a gas tier. Because look, we all we need is the apprentice orb. We can make the air si sigil and we could fly just in our own form. I know that we've got like a uh, bat mode for that and stuff. But isn't that freaking cool? So guys, this is the introduction to Blood Magic Mod. Uh, I've also been collecting. So uh, in here's just some random dungeon loot and stuff. You guys probably saw it at the beginning of this episode. 
So there's a couple magic mods that I really want to deal with uh, and start getting into uh, coming up here in the next couple weeks with Revenge of the Sea Team, and that's Blood Magic, Evil Craft, and Brew Craft. I want to I want to see what they're all about, and I want to learn them. But look at this. We've already got like this average power catalyst. I found it in a chest. Don't really exactly know what it's for, but um, I guess it could be used to make the Transcendent or Master Blood Orb. So that's kind of cool. Um, and then we've got some Evil Craft items also, like this Box of Eternal Closure, this Garmonbosia? Garmonbosia? I don't really know. Um, Pain and Sorrow. We've got the Origins of Darkness book from that as well. So we're, we've got a couple little items that are kind of fun. Uh, and I'll be I'll be finding and collecting more, you know, of course, as time goes on. But guys, I really hope that you enjoyed this episode on the Blood Magic mod. Next episode, I'm going to be setting up a trade booth in town. I think that's what I have on my, on my little list of things that I want to do. And I think the following episode, I have a prank idea that I want to do, uh, which is going to be really, hopefully, really fun. I hope it works out. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace. Three, two, one, here we go. Chop! And there it is! That's how we make our money. Eat it. And then you can suck up these pink plorts. So all the slimes poop out plorts. And the plorts are what we use to uh, to make the monies. I'll show you guys.